In this video, we are going to test out a English translated version of Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 for the N64. And this is for the Just Play build. Stay tuned. Welcome to the hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I, would, I just wanted to do a little Just Play video um, with a build called Just Play. So you can see all the systems here. I wanted to choose one that someone had mentioned in the comments. And it's actually an N64 Japanese translated game. Um, now the translation is not 100%, but you can definitely have an enjoyable experience. And that game is Virtual Pro Wrestling 2. Okay, so let's launch it up. And I do have some cheats on. I wanted to show you guys some of the hidden characters in this game. Um, it's primarily translated. It's not 100%, but honestly, it's an enjoyable experience. So if I go to Exhibition, I'll just do a single match at the Tokyo Dome, of course. And we'll just do non-title for this one. But what we have is all of these characters. So you will know some of them, and I'm going to go through. But what I wanted to do here was go into Cheats and I'm going to turn it back on, off, and then on. Apply changes. And here are the legends. So these are the hidden characters. Uh, Antonio Inoki, Tiger Mask, and Ogawa. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce everyone's name. Because a lot of these people I'm not familiar with, to be quite honest. Ultimo Dragon, of course. The Great Muda, of course. Uh, Bass Rutten. Mark Kerr, Rickson Gracie. I'm not familiar with Alexander. Here's Akira Maida. Andre the Giant is in this game, which surprised me. Uh, he does not look like Andre the Giant. They didn't spend a lot of time, obviously, using it, um, or, or to spend time making him look like himself. Terry Funk, Dory Funk Jr., Terry Gordy, uh, Dr. Death, Steve Williams, Bruiser Brody and Abdullah the Butcher are the legends. Um, these are guys that I'm familiar with. So for this one, let's do a match with Andre the Giant and we'll go against Terry Funk. I don't like rope break. There we go. And this is the first day that I've experienced this game, this is not the first time, obviously. I've, I've tested it out really quick, but it's it's a lot of fun. I think N64 wrestling games are where it's at. And I know that AEW will more than likely try and go this route and use this engine. Now, this is Andre's finishing move in this game. Um, the pedigree, basically. So, I'll show you again. Here, here it is. So, a modified pedigree is Andre's finishing move, which I would have thought would be a chokeslam. But the more, the more I thought about it was like, well, wait a minute. I don't think Andre did the chokeslam. He, I mean, he's a big guy, and the chokeslam started a little bit later than when Andre was still wrestling. Uh, yes, I have unlimited special just to not keep this stream going on and on and on. Nope. Oh, well, that's Terry Funk, man. He's a tough guy. So, this game as well, you cannot go on. Oh, there we go. So, sorry, what I meant to say was Andre that was not a top rope guy, but you can go up. And he does kind of basic moves. Um, it's awesome to see him in here. I'm very surprised to see him in here. Uh, but but here he is. 
And Terry Funk, I can understand, like, Vader's in this game, and I'm going to choose him in the next match. I'll be Big Van Vader. I find with Andre, you're pretty much guaranteed a, a W. You're not gonna, you're not gonna lose. From my testing earlier, anyway, I never had like a hard time defeating anyone and things of that nature. Uh, Andre does a low blow, and he he's doing Terry Funk's uh, finisher there, which looks kind of funny with someone of Andre's size doing that, but fun nonetheless. I did want to be in this video. I was actually going to put myself on the bezel and like, hey everybody, you're you know, watch me play. I can talk to you. Um, but my oldest son is having a good time practicing making his own videos, so you know, I want to encourage him to do so. Here's Tokyo Dome RD. I'm not sure the difference here, but okay. And we're going to fight for a title. Vader is the champion, so what I'll do is be Big Van Vader. There he is, with my belt. And we'll go up against... Uh, well, I think a lot of wrestlers want to beat the crap out of Johnny Ace, so... Vader can beat him up. I'm really into... Uh, this Just Play build is is definitely something I'm really into regarding like translated ROMs. There is a lot of great Japanese games that we never got in North America that I, I'm just pumped to have. Um, and excited at the fact that people took their own time to translate these games and share it with the public. I mean that, that I can only imagine how much work it actually is. Especially the text heavy games. Can you imagine? <laughs> You imagine how many hours you put into that I mean it's just to me it's fantastic and very grateful there's a Vader bomb let's see what Johnny Ace's end move was so I'll steal his move diamond cutter never would have guessed he cut he beat a Vader bomb and a diamond cutter can Vader go on the top rope Nope, Vader don't go up there. Andre did, but Vader won't. I mean, the whole reason for me um, doing all these translated games, like I said, it's, it's really, really cool that people have taken their time and put the effort into it. But it's games that I've never experienced. So to me, like this game is 20 years old. Uh, but it's brand new. To me. Because I've never played it. Now it's very similar to the WWF games and the WCW games on the N64. But it's different. I mean, I I like it. And yeah, it's not 100% English. But it doesn't ruin my experience whatsoever. You know, a little bit of Japanese that's perfectly fine it that doesn't bother me um, if I go exhibition single match and let's see if I can find somebody else I know because I thought before when I when I first started this there's Kamala I thought there was someone that I had that I knew. El Samurai. He seems pretty cool. Maybe I'm gonna pick him. There he is. Takamichi Noku. I'm gonna face El Samurai. So you can get through a lot of the game, like I've mentioned. Um, not knowing any Japanese, such as myself. When you press pause, you well, it's it's not done yet. <laughs> um, but I'm sure it'll get there. This is a beta release of the English translated patch. 
nice snap suplex. Um, I, I'm so into a lot of these Japanese games we never got. It it's just unreal. And I know, you know, people might be like, oh well, you know, I've I have all the I like No Mercy. No Mercy is a big one. I like No Mercy. Um, it's it's definitely one of the best wrestling games of all time. Um, one that I think is underrated is WrestleMania 2000. I think WrestleMania 2000 is solid. Once you build your characters, a lot of moves that you can choose and things like that. So that's another one I find is great. WCW NWO Revenge. That's a fantastic game as well. Um, but but this Virtual Pro Wrestling too. Uh, I you know I haven't played the first one because I didn't find an English patch for it, but this one's pretty great. Um, there's a lot of English translated games that are just fantastic and and just play is going to have as many as possible and when just play releases just make sure that you let me know in the comments like hey Harrison there's this patch you know that you missed or there's this this game that's that's been translated but you didn't get it into the build because I, I'm trying to find as many as possible for everyone to enjoy Nice. Beat him. All right, I'll just close content. So, before I end the video, um, I do want to just point out how many translated games there are. I mean, I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, so, Atari 2600, none. Uh, Atari Lynx, none. Turbo Graphics has quite a few. I think there's like 54. Um, I've just added a few recently. So one being, and this is not English translated. Some of the ones for uh, some of the systems, they're not completely translated, but you can play and enjoy them, even though there's a little bit of Japanese in there. So such as like a Alice in Wonder Dream or Afterburner 2, 1943 Kai things of that nature so um, Batman for the PC engine as well uh, Battle Load Runner Bomberman 94 Bomberman 93 special I mean there's a bunch I'm not gonna go through them all uh, here's Neo Geo and then all of these Famicom disk system games you can go ahead and try those out with in English there's not too many Game Boy Advance ones uh, I think there might be a couple. Same with Game Boy Color and Game Boy. Uh, N64 only has a few Japanese games, uh, as well as uh, I think there was one that was in here that was Australian only. Uh, NES has some. SNES has some. Virtual Boy, no, but I did take out everything that is not playable in English. 32X, no. Game Gear, I believe there's a few. Master System, same thing. Genesis, I believe, and then none for the Neo Geo Pocket and the Neo Geo Pocket Colors. So, this is Just Play. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, even though I'm not the the best. I didn't do a season, stuff like that. I wanted to show off the Andre the Giants, the Terry Funks, you know, stuff like that. But, uh, I hope you like Just Play when it releases, so stay tuned. If you're not familiar with my channel, please check out my other videos. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification to stay updated on my latest videos. But most importantly, everybody, have a good day.